Einstein proved Newton was wrong and right at the same time. How is that possible? In the 1600s, Newton came up with his laws of motion and gravity. These laws didn't just work on Earth. They explained how. The moon orbits the Earth. The Earth moves around the sun, even how the moons of Jupiter circled their planet. But in the 1800s, scientists noticed the planet Uranus wasn't moving the way Newton's laws predicted. Was Newton wrong? Instead of giving up, they thought, what if there's another planet out there pulling Uranus with its gravity? So they did the math, pointed a telescope to the exact spot, and discovered Neptune in 1846. Newton's laws worked, even for a planet no one had seen before. But as we explored more of the universe, we found places where Newton's laws didn't fully work, like black holes and the speed of light. That's where Albert Einstein came in. His theory of relativity didn't cancel Newton's ideas. It expanded them. In fact, if you use Einstein's equations for low speeds and weak gravity, they turn into Newton's laws. So Newton wasn't wrong. He gave us the first step. Einstein just helped us see the bigger picture.